So lately I have been focusing a lot on releasing perfectionistic tendencies I used to struggle with and used to be really bad, like OCD, everything had to be exactly right. And if it wasn't, it had to be fixed. So I have decided that I am going to integrate that into my crocheting. And any time I come across a lump or a bump, I'm not going to change it. It's going to stay exactly that because it is enough and it's still beautiful. And it still does the job of keeping a loved one of mine warm. And so all of my creations that I make, whether that actually be in my business or my life or crocheting, I'm letting go of those last little bits of perfectionism. Even in my healing journey, I'm surrendering. And when we start to do that, it brings so, so much peace. <laughs> and a curiosity and fulfillment in learning from mistakes. Eden has been watching Ada Twist lately, so she talks a lot about happy accidents <laughs> in science. Can create so much beauty if we just allow things to unfold. So if you are someone that has struggled with perfectionistic tendencies and that also kind of goes hand in hand with people pleasing because oftentimes when we didn't please somebody, we felt like we had to fix it. I challenge you to see what happens when you let go. Is there a fear of judgment and what somebody else is going to think about your creation or the bit of mess in your home, whatever it may be? This is my challenge to you. And if this is still a struggle, that's because your nervous system isn't used to it yet. <laughs> and there are ways to ease the nervous system and the mind and to shift it into new patterns. I am so glad that I get to do this with all of you and still learn for myself. We are always learning. We are always growing. And if we're willing to make mistakes, life will always be for us.